Good morning, my friends. Happy holidays. I hope all is well. I know it's been a while. I had a sudden change in my uh, schedule. I've been helping out a friend who decided to run, has decided to run for state office. So we've been doing petitions and all that stuff. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, I had a hard drive failure. As you see here on the screen, yeah, I plugged in one of my external hard drives into one of my Ubuntu systems and I had a pop-up warning, warning, hard drive failure is imminent or this is gonna go bad or something like that. I should have taken a screenshot of that, but I took a screenshot of this. This is the uh, disk utility software that's pretty common in Linux or at least in Ubuntu based systems such as Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, uh, Linux Mint and stuff like that. So uh, this hard drive is starting to go bad and we'll talk about that in a moment by the way I'm playing Christmas music in the background it's a CD from a friend of mine in Pittsburgh so if you hear Christmas music in the background that's what it is it's a CD playing in my boombox yeah I love my boombox let me crank up the volume here just a notch test test I think that's a little better so this is an unscheduled live event. I don't know how many people are going to be here for this. So again, I had a late minute schedule change and welcome to an unscheduled live event. Before I forget too, uh, this Friday night, unless I get sick, I have been sneezing up a storm this morning. Anyway, I'm drinking tea. This Friday night, check your emails, join me for a very special holiday news nonsense event. I will share with you my number one news nonsense story of the decade. Not the year, but the decade. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but this country has gone bonkers the last couple of years. Anyway, uh, that's my thank you to you, to all of the supporters of the channel who have stuck around with this, what I believe to be a unique community tech channel. So thank you, and my thank you to you. What I will do for you this Friday night, we will host a special news nonsense, the most ridiculous news stories and the number one ridiculous news nonsense story of the decade. So join me for that one. Um, let's see, what else do I have here before we talk about hard drives? Um, yeah, my hard drive... Uh, went bad uh, I popped it in it's it's one that I haven't used uh, that much it's an old I Omega 320 gigabyte hard drive popped it in pop-up warning starting to go bad I tested it in in Windows 10 also by the way uh, I use Auslogic's uh, software to check it and I believe one of the sectors was going bad uh, something like that so the hard drive uh, this particular hard drive, 300 gigs or so, it's usable, but it won't last. It's going to go bad eventually. So what I did, I have three hard drives, three external backup hard drives. So what that means is you always want to buy three or more. You, you can never have too many hard drives, backup drives. You have three. I follow the rule of threes. So what that means is, the first one you buy goes bad. Bad luck. The second one you buy, the dog chews it, or you dropped it, right? Or you lost it. The third one you buy, you have it stashed away in a safe place, such as a portable safe, <laughs> or in your closet or in your bedroom, whatever. That third one, it may be the one that saves, saves you, that saves all your important family photos, whatever, your kids, wedding, girlfriends, and all that stuff. So I have three external hard drives in addition to a multitude of USB sticks. So even though this hard drive was going bad, I already had uh, multiple or at least two other backup drives. And you can, you can, um, I usually buy a one terabyte as you see here. You, you can back up or buy these on Amazon. These are around 50 bucks for a one terabyte. This is a Seagate 
back up plus slim slim line but really there's there's a bunch of good ones uh on there i bought a, a toshiba one i believe this past summer also one terabyte again for about 50 bucks so you can never have enough in my opinion you can never ha never have enough backup uh hard drives so linux users mac users you know windows 10 users chromebook users always have three backups remember the rule of threes the first one you bought fails the second one you bought the dog chews it or whatever the third one saves you it's the one you have stashed away in a safe place and you bet you, you do the same amount of backups in each one i know it's time consuming but what if you don't do this what if you have only one backup hard drive and, and that backup fails and you have no other backup what are you going to do so you want to have at least three you can have more uh ex external hard drives if you want to i really don't unless you want to count usb drives you know as a backup hard drive i need another sip of tea i hope i'm not getting sick anyway so yeah i had a I had one of my drives go bad. This this one's about uh, nine, ten years old, so I knew this was coming. And it warned me, hey, this is going bad. Now, when you see something like this, it may completely fail today, tomorrow, next year. Do you want a chance that? <laughs> I don't, and I didn't. So I backed up to my second external drive. I need to back it up to my third external drive now it's going to take some time depending on the amount of uh you know on the amount of uh files folders the amount of gigabytes that you have um generally speaking i don't use software to back up files and folders i use the old you know drag and drop normally sometimes in windows i'll use something called uh Isis company called Isus. It's Ease and Us, Ease US, Isus Backup uh, software to back up files and folders. But generally speaking, you know, I'll just drag and drop folders uh, from the from the PC or from the bad hard drive to the good hard drive, and that seems to work. That's 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 pretty simple. So that's always worked for me in the past. Um. That's it as far as uh, external hard drives go. So once again, to repeat, and I'm going to repeat this, you want at least three external backup drives. Okay, the first one <laughs> breaks, the second one, the dog chews it. The third one will be the one that saves you because you have it stashed away safely uh, wherever you keep your jewels, as it were. So don't forget to back up, back up again, and back up a third time. I think that'll be sufficient uh, for most um, people. Um, I want to thank that person. Uh, I think it was Richard uh, who sent me a a news article that I thought was I th I thought it was fake. I thought the news article was uh, fake, and um, it was a news article saying that. Um, Oh, there, there's a $2,000 Linux uh, Librem phone. Uh, yeah, a $2,000 Linux phone. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was one of those, you know, Christmas jokes or whatever. I said, haha, very funny. He says, no, no, no. Check out the story. This is real. Fine. So I went to the story. <laughs> the, these marijuana dispensaries are getting out of hand. Apparently, my friends, you can buy a $2,000 Linux phone. I don't know what else to say, except in New York, we would say, <laughs> forget about it. I don't get it. You know, there was no interest in a $700 Linux phone, at least not on this channel. Why would the be? Why would there be interest for a two thousand dollar Linux phone? See, it's 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 products like this or news stories like this that just make Linux look stupid. 
And as much as I love Linux, I'm just telling you as, as, a, as a tech reporter, technologist, it's stories like that that don't help the cause of Linux. Be that as it may, it is a choice. And Linux, Linux is all about choice. Let me turn down the, the Christmas music here. Linux is all about choice. So I guess I have to, I have to defend it that way. So if, if you were in the market for a $2,000 Linux phone, hey, you're in luck this holiday season. <sighs> I need another drink of tea here on that one. Who is in the chat here? Spin Viking is in the house. Hello, my friend. How are you? Ah, love my morning tea. Man, I hope I don't get sick. And that's why I didn't hook up my camera this morning. So I'm sneezing up a storm and finishing up my, my breakfast. So anyway, so once again, this Friday night, as my thank you to you who have supported this channel throughout the years, you, throughout these years and tears. No, join me for the, for the number one news nonsense story of the decade. Trust me, it's going to be fun. In fact, let me give you a little sneak peek uh, of this story. This this could qualify as the, the, the most ridiculous story of the year or the decade. Uh, this is for real. This is from a Walmart. <laughs> let it snow sweater depicting Santa with, <laughs> with lines of cocaine is one of the year's products gone wrong. Yeah, no shit, Einstein. Oops, bad word. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I read this. I'm like, hey, man, you buy a sweater, you get some freak loads of cocaine, okay, man? Well, whoever bought these sweaters uh, was probably hoping for a white Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. This is, pretty, this is pretty funny, but this is not the number one news nonsense story of the decade. You'll have to join me this Friday night. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hmm. Anyway, there's a little sneak tease of what's coming up. So, I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Like I said, my, my schedule changed the last minute. I was going to meet up with my friend of mine um, to strategize. Again, he's running for state office. So, very good friend of mine. And uh, he has a good heart, good family man. I'm doing what I can to help him out pro bono as it were because he's worth it so again hard drive failure uh you want to catch this before it completely craps out on you in my situation i caught it ahead of time uh, I, I i was able to back up what was in that bad hard drive to a newer hard drive and, and i mean i could tell it was it was spinning making like a high-pitched noise it ran a little slower uh, so it's starting to go bad so again if you see something like this the, the data may still be salvageable to back up, not the hard drive. Once you see this, you know, it's, it's, it's gone. So, yeah. <clears throat> Spin asks, is this your Ubuntu? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Spin. I, um, I tested this twice. I plugged this into my Ubuntu 19, was it 1910 is the latest one? And it came up with a pop-up warning. Hey, this is starting to go bad. So I double checked it in Windows 10 and it came up with the warning. I went to the disk utility software spin and um, this is what comes up. And you can check this, this is very newbie friendly. Um, and this warning, this is gonna fail, is likely to fail, this, this pops up automatically. There's no terminal command lines to confuse you. So that's why I like using Ubuntu-based systems. Very newbie friendly. So um, I actually backed up what I had on this hard drive. It, it, took, it took quite a few hours because it was running really, 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 really snow. Uh, slow, so yeah. Looks like the Mate 1604. Um, yeah, yeah, this screenshot is from Ubuntu Mate. Uh, but I believe it's the same disk utility as in standard Ubuntu, if I am not mistaken. But I just wanted to show mainly newbies uh, you know, what this looks like. Again, you can also test your hard drives in Windows 10. 
And uh, like I said, if, if, if you see any warning or in Windows 10, it, it'll say like uh, fail this test or a, a bad reallocation sector or something like that. It's going to go bad. Now, will it die today, tomorrow, next year? I don't know, but it will go bad. Back up immediately and back up again. Once again, follow the rule of three backups. That's what I've done over the course of many years, and it seems to work. Now, is it possible to have all three of your external backup drives go bad? Anything's possible, but highly unlikely. So always have, have three. If you're in the market for uh, backup drives, check out the Amazon, the affiliate link below in the show notes if you would like to shop. The affiliate link, it's free, and you can help out the channel. So I backed it up once. I'm going to have to do two more backups to my other two external hard drives. Um, so maybe today, since I have some time unexpectedly. Hello, Razor. Razor is in the house. Had a hard drive die on you recently. Yeah, it's going to happen sooner or later. It's just a matter of time, so so be aware of that. You know, uh, I try to back up on a monthly basis. Uh, sometimes I forget, but um, monthly basis. I mean, you know, that depends on what you do. So, if you have a business or, yeah. You can expect 10 years use with most hard drives. Uh, spin, uh, I, I, I've read that before. There's no way to tell. Uh, although the one that's going bad here is about 10 years old. So yeah, in this situation, yes. So now that I've backed up everything I had to back up, I'll, I'll keep it for a quick, you know, back up here and there. But um, it's gonna go bad eventually. So once again, um, have multiple backups. Like I said, I have this one. I have a um, a Toshiba, and I actually have another one that's uh, one of the one of the bigger external hard drives that's AC powered. I don't know if those are any more reliable, uh, but um, it works. Hello, Brogura. How are you? Razor says, the old PC is 14 years old, never had to replace drives. Okay. Only an OS reinst reinstall. Well, I've heard that the, uh, supposedly, the standard hard drives will last longer than an SSD. Uh, I don't know how true that is anymore in today's technology. But, yeah, that is certainly possible. But, once again, backup. Back up again, and again, three times, and you should be okay. All right, I'll stick around. What time is it? Uh, about 10 till. I'll stick around for another 10 minutes or so, like like I said. Uh, those of you joining in late, I had a last-minute schedule change. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a, a live show. I had to, you may have heard about the new laws, rules changes here on YouTube with the COPPA laws and, and stuff. It was very, uh, it, it lacked clarification. So my friend who's running for a state rep, or he's thinking about running, he's a retired attorney. I asked him about it. I got some clarification. Uh, once, I, once that was clarified, I felt a little better uh, doing the live um, shows again that's why i haven't been on for a while so once again those of you who have supported these live shows through you know uh, through patreon paypal the super chats thank you um and um i hope to, to continue doing these live shows so we'll see um where is my list here i d i recorded I'll probably uh, premiere it uh, next month. This past summer, I recorded an interview. Off topic, I recorded an interview with Italy's first female Italian rabbi. I thought it was interesting. Uh, something different. That'll hope to debut that next month. I hope to have her live in the chat room. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. She's from Pittsburgh, but lives in Italy, not too far from my dad. 
Um, also, what I've what I've noticed. Oh, hi, Dan. Dan says it greatly depends how many hours your drive has on it. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, I don't know how many hours uh, this particular one uh, had. Um, all I know is it, ha it has a warning, and I backed up. So, um, so yeah. Again, if, if there's anybody new watching, uh, please do stop by and say hello. That's what we're here for. So, if anybody would like to join me uh, this Friday evening for a very special uh, news nonsense, the number one news nonsense story of the year, a thank you uh, private show, you can join. Just check out the links below in the show notes. And that is my thank you for you, for all of the supporters who have stuck around this <laughs> uh, erratic, irregular schedule. Uh, of the live shows on this channel. I'm doing my best with limited resources. So again, thank you. I do appreciate it. But I was looking at my, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to this new Google Studio for content creators. It's, I don't like it, but I've noticed that I was looking at the top 10 videos uh, for the uh, for this channel, and one of the top ten videos is an older video on how to hook up your Epson printer to Linux. Apparently, some of you are still having problems hooking up printers to Linux. It's not that big of a problem today, um, so I'll have to do a follow up video on that. But that's one of the the more popular um, uh, one of the more popular profitable in terms of AdSense revenue for the channel. That's why I don't do a lot of live because they're not, the live shows aren't really, ex, ex, except for the supporters, the live shows really aren't profitable for the channel. They are time consuming and almost, uh, they're, they're, yeah, it's, they're, they're time consuming and they're not profitable. So, but anyway, I'll do a follow up for the um, printers and Linux. Uh, it should be easier today. So, I need to make some more tea. So, have you guys done your Christmas shopping? Do you even care? I'm hoping to do a couple product reviews. Um, try to squeeze them in this month. Um, well, one of the products I had was this Seagate backup drive but there's really not much to review here you know it's you buy you buy according to the capacity of the drive it's USB powered you plug it in and that's it there's really nothing to review here so either it works out of the box or it's or is it defective and it doesn't work and like I said I normally drag and drop files and folders to the external hard drives but um, hope to have some other product reviews I'll try to squeeze, squeeze them in this month but I don't know yet Anyway, Dan says a little shopping. Very good. I um for clothes. I prefer to shop uh, for myself. I shop personally in the store. I generally don't shop online unless I know exactly what I need. For example, I bought a pair of new Nikes or non Nikes. What did I buy? New Balance. I know what my shoe size is in that particular brand and style, model number, whatever you know you want to call it. I ordered those online. But for clothes, uh, I generally like to uh, try them on because I'm a tall guy. So yeah, six two and yeah. I did order a new cell phone uh, by Motorola. Hello, Moto. And uh, we'll see what that should be in by the end of the month, I hope. Something with stereo speakers. I miss my older phone that had two front firing speakers. So hopefully that'll come in on time. 
Uh, let's see here. Spence says, you like the freedom of choice of software and utilities uh, for Ubuntu systems. Okay. Well, that's probably true for a lot of Linux-based systems, um, Spence. So, yeah, if, if, if there's one thing that Linux can give you is choice, maybe too much choice. Man, that $2,000 Linux phone. I know that's a choice, but... <sighs> yeah. LJ Pellegrino! What's up, man? For those of you who came in late, uh, here's a sneak peek story uh, for the upcoming Friday night show. Uh, let it snow. Sweater depicting Santa with lines of cocaine was being sold at a Walmart. Let it blow, let it blow, let it blow. <sighs> what do you think, Dan? Funny story? Could this qualify for the number one news nonsense story of the decade? It could, but this is not the one. The number one news nonsense story of the decade is coming up Friday night. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, Dan likes to try on clothes too, yeah, yeah. Reminds, Razor says, reminds you a video on you with Henry Hoover. I don't know that one. Smith says, some other distros will have less functionality if you change things about their build. Uh, yeah, I believe if you try to change things with elementary OS, it may not work the way it should. That's why I do not use elementary OS. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not for me. I stick with Ubuntu base. I've had very good luck in terms of reliability. Ubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint, Zorin, Peppermint. It's it's all good. It's just in the end they seem to be the most functional, user friendly, reliable, stable. So yeah. All right, let's give this a five-minute warning, my friends, and we'll wrap it up. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner on cocaine, it's called. Hmm. Yeah, so if you spill your stuff, you can vacuum it up, right? Mm -hmm. Playing my friend's Christmas CD. I'm enjoying the songs. La da 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 dee da 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 dee. I'll be home for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Snorting my Vicks. That's what I do. If I have a stuffy nose at night before bed, I put some Vicks rubbing compound in my nose. It works. <laughs> Trust me, it works. And a shot of whiskey, right? Or a glass of wine. Yep. Anyway. Anybody else in the chat that wants to say hello? Anybody new? Don't be shy. I have not tried Salix, Salix, Salix. Spin says, oh, Canada, where's the holiday spirit? Well, they were selling that special sweater, Spin. They're in the spirit. <laughs> <clears throat> I may have to pop some Vicks compound in my nose. I'm sneezing up a storm this morning. I hope I'm not getting sick. Anyway, 
All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Again, hard drive failure. You get a warning like this. This is an Ubuntu, of course. It'll give you a warning. If you're running Windows 10 or whatever, you can check your hard drive. If it says hard drive failure imminent, going bad, back it up. Start backing up immediately if you have not. You may still be able to salvage your data. Back it up like now. Don't wait. If you see this, it may go bad now. It may crap out tomorrow, next year. There's no way to tell. Back it up. Back up again. Follow the rule of threes. Three external backups. Because the first one gets chewed up by the dog. Or the first one. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. The, the first... Anyway, yeah, back up, back up, and back up again, Dan. Exactly. That that should be a movie title. Back up, back up, and back up again, right? Three times. Because the first one craps out on you. It was defective. Hey, it happens. The second one, the dog chews it. The third one you have stashed away safely. That's the one that saves you. So back up, back up, and back up again. That's what I do, and I'm in good shape. You might get a week at most once the errors become regular. Razor, yeah, it's um, you know, it's I'll I'll keep it for little you know backups here and there as I go along, but I know it's just a matter of time. So now one thing about one last thing about failing external hard drives. Don't throw them in the trash. Don't you need to destroy it. Because let's face it, your personal information is still on there. That can still be accessible through um, um, unuser-friendly parties, if you know what I mean. So destroy it. Drill a couple holes, holes through it. Grab a hammer. Yeah. And um, probably should throw it in the trash, you know. Try to be environmentally friendly. Maybe recycle it after you drill a couple holes in it. And hammer it and terminate it. Blah, blah. Yeah, so that's one thing. Keep your private info as private as possible. All right, well, that is the end of my uh, song list on my friend's music CD. So, on that note, I'm going to wrap this up, my friends. So, thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure chatting uh, with you, and uh, hopefully I won't get sick from the sneezing this morning, so assuming I'm okay, nothing else comes up. Check your emails. I'll catch at least some of you Friday night for the number one news nonsense story of the decade. Trust me, it is ridiculous. Forget about it. Ciao.